Hello everybody, it's Reggie here. Um, just a quick update on the uh, layout. So um, last time I was uh, showing you where I'd got to with the uh, alterations on the TMD. Um, so I've now finished the loading uh, gauge area. Um, so I've uh, weathered the base with some uh, concrete paint and scored the lines to make it look like uh, the you know concrete slabs as they're laid uh, a little bit of weathering fitted the hut it's got a light in there but you can't see it in this light very well um, and put the fencing round I'm not able to fit the barrier because uh, as the point is so close to the entrance when the locos come in uh, just like this one showing you here as they're cording across uh, they would hit the post on the barrier so i've had to leave that off for now but um you know that's uh not not, not too uh, too much of a problem so yeah i'm quite happy with that at the minute um it's gone in quite well and i think it fits into the tmd quite uh quite nicely um going back over to this side um, now this is the area where i was uh, looking at having the railway laser lines diesel depot i'm i'm sort of having second thoughts about it because uh, two things i don't want to uh, clutter the area up too much with buildings it might look a bit a bit too much and also the uh, diesel depot that i was looking at is 600 mil long two foot long which would mean it would come down to sort of about uh, about this area here and it would pretty well obscure that that fuel depot so i'm thinking do i really want to put that there or maybe just have some storage lines in there not too sure i'd appreciate any comments anyone's got or maybe just get a smaller uh, diesel depot that wouldn't encroach so much in the in that area not sure really um, so um, there's still work to do on there there's still detail to add um, I've been looking at West Hill Wagon Works they've got some good products that I, I might get on order and get get on there um, and there's still lighting it needs yard lights and it needs signals although I don't know much about signals to be honest um, so yeah there's still plenty to be to be getting on with um so um yeah that's that there haven't really done anything else added a little bit more fencing around here just put a bit more a uh, bit more landscaping um around um got a new addition to the uh layout which i'll show you in a minute but um yeah so not a lot been going on things will probably slow down a bit now the summer's uh, on its way, hopefully. Um, but yeah, a little bit there, still, still plenty to do. Um, so I'll leave this bit here now, and I'll see you in a minute. Uh, okay, so the new addition is this uh, DRS Mark II F second open coach from Hornby that I had on back order with uh, Cheltenham Model Centre for quite some time. So, uh, so that's come through. It's uh, reference is get you that there R four zero three three one. If anyone's uh, interested, um, so this uh, I had this on back order to go with the uh, Acura scale uh, nuclear wagon flasks that uh, I've had for quite some time. There's a DRS class sixty eight there. Um, so I know you really probably should have two of these wagons, you know, one either end, etc., etc. Um, but it would it would have got too long. I haven't got enough room for all the stock I've got as it is. So I I just had the one to uh, to complement it to to run on the back and uh, just have to have a bit of artistic license with that. Um, and it came with the Hornby, the new Hornby. Uh, magnetic couplings which I think are brilliant um, I'm afraid I think they're a lot better than uh, the West Hill Wagon Works ones um, but at the minute I understand they're out of stock so uh, 
Got to wait for some of those to come in, but I'd like to change a lot of my uh, couplings for these because I really don't get on very well with this tension lock couplings. Don't like them. They get tangled up and cause issues, etc. Um, and I found sometimes the hump couplings sometimes are not not strong enough. They don't they don't hold uh, longer trains together. So um, I think these Hornby ones uh, look good and and are very strong as well so i think i'll certainly be getting some more of them so yeah um as usual you know nice uh, coach there from hornby well detailed good livery application runs well so i'll uh, do a few running shots uh, showing uh, showing this in a bit um and then that'll about wrap up this brief update So thanks for looking in and I shall see you next time. Hopefully I might have made a bit more progress. Uh, depends what, what else I've got on, but uh, thanks for, for watching. For the last video, uh, you may have uh, may remember that I was having a bit of an issue with this crossing where some locos, when they were going over it, it was um, very brief shorting out. Um, and the problem is, uh, which I've had on other crossings is, uh where these where these tracks here meet sometimes the wheels on the loco can briefly touch both sides gets very close just here uh so that will cause either a short or a very brief short so what i do what i did on the other one is as you can see i've painted this all uh with black paint to insulate it from the uh, from the supply, the electricity supply. So I do them on all the junctions. You can do that. I do them in black paint. You can do them in uh, clear varnish, anything like that, just to stop the wheels that slight momentary touch um, that will cause a short on a set on on your DCC. Um, cab control so uh, yeah that solved that problem and then as it wears over time I'll just uh, touch it up again but uh, since I've done that uh, there hasn't been any problems so that uh, hopefully may be of use to someone if uh, they're having the same issue but that's it just a bit of paint and it's hardly noticeable to me anyway um, on, on the track layout mm.